Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is me Physio Prem Shah and every week on Sunday I come with the answer of the question asked during that week on the Friday. And today it's about question number 9. And in this week question question number 9 the information given to us is something like patient is diagnosed with anterior inferior dislocation of the right shoulder and physiotherapist has to find out that what other associated injuries might be present because of this injury now the question is very simple we just don't have to understand anything extra from this simple information is that that there is a anterior inferior dislocation of the shoulder which means that head of the humerus has rotated anteriorly which mostly happens because of the external rotation and after that it has shifted downward so that is a injury that patient is suffering from and in this injury what other associated injuries can be there that we have to find out and the option given to us is like option number a says that it can be possible that weak rhomboids muscle option b says that there might be a drop arm test positive option number c says that there might be knee stress positive and option number 4 says that deltoid muscle weakness now let's go in deep in this rhomboid muscle weakness now when it is possible so rhomboid muscle mainly is supplied by dorsal scapular nerve and dorsal scapular nerve as the name suggests passes from the posterior side of the uh, head of the humerus and because of that here right now the current situation is that patient's anterior inferior dislocation is there it is it cannot impinge or compress the dorsal scapular nerve so there is no possibility that rhomboid muscle can be affected or dorsal scapular nerve can be affected so this option cannot be correct option number 2 which is like drop arm test positive now we all know that drop arm test is mainly performed to find out rotator cuff injury or labrum injury so if patient is having rotator cuff muscle injury we will see that patient drops down suddenly because of pain then it is considered as drop arm test positive but here that is not the case already we know that there is an anterior inferior dislocation so it doesn't make any sense for the rotator cuff injury right now option number c says that there can be knee stress positive now knee stress basically is performed to find out impingement in the shoulder and impingement always occurs whenever the head of the humerus and acromial process is coming more close to each other because of which the internal structures are getting impinged but here the case is that it is already dislocated so there is no point of getting impingement in this case so even this cannot be the correct answer option number 4 which is weak deltoid yes now here weak deltoid why it will happen deltoid muscle is basically supplied by axillary nerve an axillary nerve passes from the anterior part of the shoulder joint and runs in the inferior direction so now this completely makes sense that if the anterior inferior dislocation is there it can compress axillary nerve and because of which there can be deltoid muscle weakness so that is why my dear friends here in this question option number d weak deltoid muscle is the correct answer I hope you all have understood uh, the question as well as the answer explanation if you still have any doubts do let me know in the comment section and stay tuned to physio trends for more and more videos like this